Hello J peeps, this is J Pal and welcome to the first vlog of 2018. Alright, so if you guys are wondering about this season vlogs, I gotta tell you it's gonna be very good and and today we are at, um, I'm at the backyard of my friend's house, Madeline Gray, and she's celebrating her 18th birthday. So yeah, it's gonna be lit tonight. just came back from church and I gotta say it was really good. Maddie's 18th birthday party last night was over the top. It's good to see some familiar faces again, had an opportunity to dance again. The last time I danced was at my 18th birthday party. And before that was the year 10 formal. I really enjoyed it. All right, guys. Now let's talk about something a little bit serious. And I don't know if you have seen this video that I just published. It's on my YouTube channel and it's called Rest in Peace, Billy Graham. And that is where I talk about the pastor and his recent passing. So a lot of you guys are asking me how does Billy Graham impacted me and my life? I guess this is the right time for me to talk to you guys about that particular question. So I may as well say it. So when I was a child, I have never ever heard of Billy Graham until I was around 18 that I began to research about Billy Graham through Martin Luther King Jr. I gotta say Martin and Billy Graham are two of the best evangelists ever in American history. So I've researched articles and a couple of videos. Honestly he's a good man with a very good heart. He is known to impact millions and millions of people around the world. I remember when he died, went on Instagram and looked up at a post from, well, I think it's one of the church leaders from Hillsong, and they have posted a picture of Billy Graham and the caption says that Billy Graham has recently died. And honestly, I thought that was a joke, but I actually researched on Google and I saw the trendy articles on Google where basically the truth is Billy Graham died at the age of 99. I'm a little bit sad about it, but I'm really thankful that Billy Graham has inspired and impacted many of the well-known preachers and evangelists today like Brian Houston, Joe Austin, John Gray, all the well-known preachers from around the world. Since the day Billy Graham died, I honored Billy by doing 99 push-ups, which I have failed. Moving forward to a week later, I have succeeded 99 push-ups. 
I felt very relieved. Also, I have watched a couple of his sermons on YouTube. One of them has really impacted me in my heart. He was talking about how to live a Christian life through prayer, Bible, worship, etc. His sermon really spoke to me and into my life and since then I've gone straight back into building my relationship with God. If you guys want to watch that sermon, I will send you that link down below on the description. You are more than welcome to check it out and listen to one of Philly Graham's sermons. This one might help you with your relationship with God. Yeah, that's pretty much it with what I want to say about Billy Graham to you guys and so now we are moving forward shout out to Ethan Coble you are a sick legend bro you're awesome and to Eli Chauvin if you guys didn't know he's got he has started a brand new YouTube channel focusing on the vlogs and some other videos if you guys want to check it out the link of his channel will be on the description below so you're more than welcome to check him out uh, he's a really good friend of mine and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you guys next week for another amazing vlog. Really cannot wait for what God has in store for this channel. So yeah, it's going to be good.